Okay, guys, I was trying to get some fresh air up in here, and I actually, because the, my neighbors, they're moving, and I got a lot going on myself. I'll be, you know, I'm trying to get things situated myself. I hope that everyone is blessed in this twin flame room today. Father God, anointing of the Holy Ghost, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, come in and clear out any entities that would come to try to sabotage this reading. I did my shuffling last night, guys. I was going to do the, put this reading on, on or whatever, but I had did I had put like two or three readings, and it wouldn't allow me, you know, to do all of them. So, guys. I love all you guys. I pray that you guys have love, light, and prosperity. God, give us favor over anything that we're trying to do, any obstacles that will come in the way of anything that we're trying to pursue. I pray that God cast it down to the pits in the mighty name of Jesus, and we still begin to move forward with God before us in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter what you your paycheck reflects, your work is important to God. It's important to others and it's important to you. You can't afford not to pray about it. Commit your work to the Lord. Ask him to bless it in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father God, I'm asking you to come in and bless my work because I am a servant for the Lord. Um, I, I strive uh, heavily to get people back to the cross and loving God first and loving ourselves and I'm doing it you know for all of us it's for me too and you know and since I have grown more you know along the journey and every step of the way I just want to give back or whatever and I would like if you guys would donate to my channel um I'm gonna do I'll pick you know if you email me at peachparlor at gmail.com Every week, I will be picking um, seven people to give a reading to or whatever. But if you get a reading from me, you have to pay $25 donation. I'm not going to charge for any readings. Um, I'm going to kind of do something new so that it could be more convenient for other people, for the people watching and the people that's on this journey and myself. I will not charge for any readings. I will pick, you know, if you want a reading, I will stop at seven people. I will give you a reading for free, but you have to do a, give me a $25 donation. And my cash app is dollar sign Charlie's Angel 75. And so that's what I will be doing. And so, guys, um, what I see out here, I see earth sign. I see a fire sign. It's water sign. It's an air sign. Air sign female, I know. Um, and it's water sign, fire sign, earth sign. Um... Yeah, I think I said them all. It is a fire sign, water sign, air sign, and um, a earth sign. That's all out here. And so it should be all of the elements. Uh, I, I'm not going to go into detail of saying which sign it is or whatever because I really, I don't get into signs or whatever. I am strictly, I strictly focus on. On the spiritual journey aspect of this uh, twin flame uh, situation. First of all, I got King of Pentacles. This is a king that is about his money. He usually have money. He comes with money. He sits on the throne. And he's about his paper. Um, he's not moved by anything, uh, you know, that's petty. He's, you know, he's. Sitting here with his wand, he's watching things or whatever, and normally he knows what he wants to do. He's a man of, a businessman, uh, he's financially success, his, he sits in his position well, 
Um, he's a dependable, steadfast, strong character. Uh, if he becomes angry, he is short, uh, you know, um, short lived. He doesn't, uh, brood. This, uh, man make excellent, will make an excellent husband, uh, for someone or excellent family man and so forth, uh, whatever. And so then we have three of pentacles. Um, okay, what did I do with this? Three of Pentacles. Right here. Three of Pentacles. Um, focusing on his Pentacle, Pentacles. Um... Three of Pentacles, a young craftsman, shows steady uh, progress as he diligently works with pride and concentration. He sees the tools of his trade and results of his labor, which holds in his hand admiringly. Okay, this card is Three of Pentacles revealed through your efforts and success beginning to show. You should feel a sense of, achieve, of achievement now along with some improvement materially, uh, recognition financially through uh, others' acknowledgement, talents, and abilities, uh, more formal, uh, could be receiving rewards, uh, is a successful uh, attainment man. Then we have uh, the Knights, the Knight of Swans, or whatever. Um, what I'm getting from here, or whatever, okay, this man, this uh, three of pentacles, he's focusing on his pentacles, divine masculine is. Again, I state, uh, whatever, he's the king or whatever, a businessman, a uh, clergyman, you know, a family man, uh, could be a husband. Uh, this knight of wands right here, or whatever, he's lusting or he's been doing things that he shouldn't have been doing. Uh, a person that don't have any uh, emotional uh, aspects to life. He's uh, he makes head over heart decisions. Uh, move qu quickly or whatever. No, he stands in his power. Um, probably isn't really a man of integrity. Not too much. And then he's he's dreaming he's in the night or whatever which lets me know that he is like a bit on a low vibration this uh night could be then dreaming and things could be uh, illusions that he have presented to divine film but she's not hearing it anymore you know and so he wants to, we see the king overall energy. What I'm getting from this, he's in the night. He's going back and forth and his energy is being in low vibrations. Then it'll elevate and go up to a high vibration. He wants to try to strive to be a king or an emperor. He wants this family, this 10 of cups, where he sees a uh, uh, wish fulfillment with this uh, empress. Then it's three, 20, three trinity, uh, the empress. He looks at divine film and he sees her as the empress. Then it's the ace of wands here. Um, uh, could be symbolized seeds of ideas. Uh, uh, feel very excited about it frequently. Has career or business orientation, a new job, something new being birthed or new being started and I feel that he wants to do this with Divine Femme. She's the Empress and then uh, you know in his head space it could be he knows that she's focusing on her uh, creativity. Uh, she got a great big burst of energy. Uh, she's ready to move forward. She's standing in her enlightenment. Uh, the light. She's striving. Uh, she's moving forward. Got a you know uh, entirely a new way of life, uh, anticipation, excitement, and such tra tra transition will bring you a compass 
If this is accomplished by the Empress, literally the creation of a new life sense of Ace of Wands energy, which also associated with procreation, the seed of life, a new relationship. He wants a new beginning with her. A new He wants a relationship with her. Then Three of Wands. Um, three of Wands is, is sees uh, Three of Wands right here uh, manifesting successful. Uh, three of Wands indicates progress, initial success, and yet even more planning to keep everything forward moving, heading in the right direction. He sees her heading in the right direction. Then he looks at her and she's his world again. Then he goes back to the Knight of Cups. Could be a Scorpio. Such a, uh, could be a wand up here. Could be a fire sign up here. A, a, a Scorpio here. This could be a Scorpio. Then the blindfold, the two of swords. Um, she have blindfold on like she's blinded to the fact of what he's been doing. But he knows that she's not blinded to all of this stuff that he was doing in the past and that it's going to be a death put to all of that. He's one, if this is a Scorpio sign, uh, he is one to put a death to all this stuff that he was doing in, in the past because he sees her and look, looks at her like she is the world to him. She, he's been getting that and he knows that she's an empress and uh, she's the whole package. She's three in one. Um, and every, a death will be coming for this, uh, whatever, because she's not blinded to the fact she was or whatever, but a death will be coming to him, even trying to keep her blinded from some of the things that he were doing. Then moving forward, nine of cups could be a Scorpio as well, wanting to offer his cup to his divine film. And, uh, yes, if anyone is asking the high priestess come after that and, it's the 11 card, and this is a twin flame relationship going on here, guys. And so, um, uh, high priestesses. No, I'm trying to get to the cups. Nine of cups here. Uh, nine of cups is a cup of. Most one um, promising of the tarot and is time to refer to as a wish card sig signifying the achievement of an important desire that brings you fulfillment. It can represent emotional and material fulfillment, abundance. And this is what he's wanting to give her. That's why we see him over here being the king. He wants to give her... Uh, stability and emotional fulfillment in all areas of this situation, this twin flame journey. Then we have high priestesses. Uh, I got to hurry up and get off of here. Guys, I hope you guys are having a great night. Um, Yes, and if you don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Oh, hi. Yes, this is. He knows that she is focusing on every aspect of this. The moon is back there. She's in, you know, she's contemplating on and she's in relaxed mode of really just thinking this whole situation over god bless and y'all have a great day don't forget like and subscribe my channel